The witch doctors, the wizards, and all of the bad guys have been snowing us from the start. This play was written and performed for Louis XIV, the guy who called himself the Sun King of Gaul, long before any of our countries were invented. He's the guy who discovered Louisiana and invented the Louisville Slugger. His, unfortunately, his great grandson got his head cut off by a different group of bad guys. And now we love the French Revolution. Do you not believe in medicine? No, my brother, and I do not see that it is necessary for our salvation to believe in it. What? Do you not hold true a thing acknowledged by everybody and revered throughout all ages? Between ourselves, far from thinking it true, I look upon it as one of the greatest follies which exist among men, and philosophically speaking, I do not see a more absurd piece of mummery, of anything more ridiculous, than a man who takes upon himself to cure any other man. Why will you not believe that a man can cure another man? For the simple reason that our physiologies are mysteries about which men are still completely in the dark, and Mother Nature has put too thick a veil before our eyes for us to know anything about them. Then, the doctors know nothing at all, according to you. Oh, yes. Most of them have some knowledge of the best classics, they can talk fine Latin. They can give a Greek name to every disease. They can define and distinguish them but as to curing these diseases, that is out of the question. Still, you must agree that doctors know more than other men. They know what I have told you and that does not cure anything. All the excellency of their art consists in pompous bullshit and specious babbling, which gives you magic words instead of reasons and promises instead of results. Still, there exist men as wise and clever as you, and we see that in cases of illness everyone has recourse to the doctor. That is a proof of human weakness and not of the truth of their art. Still, doctors must believe in their art, since they make use of it for themselves. It is because some of them believe the popular error by which they themselves profit, while others profit by it without believing it. For all you people who studied this play in school, Mon frère, now you know why. Attendez, je vous prie. The bad guys gave our parents, and us, full disclosure hundreds of years ago.